in this video i'm going to tell you about some major http methods which we use which we use in almost every website like every website nowadays so firstly we need to know that what actually a restful api is so let's see in the slide what is a restful api restful api leverage http request to perform cred operations basically restful apis are used to perform cred operations on our data what is cred cred is create read update and delete these operations are performed by restful apis and major methods for this are get method post method put method and delete method in this video we will be covering get method and post method so let's move to get input method before that we have some basic flask setup we already we have already covered this uh, pip install flask and creating app.py and defining routes in our previous videos so what is actually a get request in get request uh, this in this get request user fetches data from server uh, for example you have to go on google and have google.com or something like amazon.com so you are creating a get request there that means you have to extract data from server that is known as a get request now data can be in any form it can be a html document it can be a you can say json json data or anything i will show you the code for uh, some basic code for this uh, in the later part now let's move to the post request what actually a post request is in post request uh, this is basically like adding data to the server the post method adds new data to the server which means if you are signing up on a website just like google.com you will be creating a new user that is uh, you will be creating a new email giving your data to the google that all is that all is done with the help of post request let's move in our vs code and see some basic uh, syntax for get and post request so let me open this We have a basic folder structure which contains a static folder which will contain all my images and CSS JavaScript. This contains our templates folder. In templates folder, we will have uh, all the HTML templates and in root directory and app.py file. Let me show you what uh, which index file we have actually. So this is our index file, which contains some uh, some add operation, update item, and delete item. These are buttons for uh, submitting these requests. Let me show you. So firstly, let's create our app.py. So for that, we will type this command from Flask, import. App the left, flask, and render template, and request, and one more thing. That is JSON file, because we will be using JSON data in this file. So let's create our app instance. App equal to flask. Double underscore. Now what we have to do is just basic setup, create our uh, app routes, app dot route. This particular route for we uh, we will use for index function. 
def index this will return and a template and which template will be rendered that is index.html so this is the, this was our basic setup now let me show you what what actually the contents of index.html is so So this HTML file contains contains a script file and a CSS file, obviously. So this is the main body of our HTML file. Now what this script file will do is this script file will be executed when the page is loaded and this will call fetch items function. Now what this fetch items is doing is this will uh, fetch all the data by hitting this particular route so we have to firstly create this route github dot route slash api because we are creating an api we have to uh, copy the exact same route here slash items hit enter create a function get uh, get items get underscore items this will return a json data now from this particular data set let's see data this is our, data, our demo data set Which will be creating some dictionaries in the uh, in the JSON format. This consists of ID. ID will be let's say one comma. This contains name. Name will be let's say item one, and then price, price for that particular item. As let's say we have ten dollars, comma hit enter. Let's create one more item. For that, copy the same thing. Just a second. Yes. ID will be two here. Item will be item two. Let's say price will be fifteen dollars. So this is our demo data set. Understand? We have to return this particular data set. Comma 200. Guys, I will provide you this particular HTML and app.py file. So don't worry. Now, what we have to actually do is we have to uh, hit a get request. So here we will define a method. Method equal to in colon. We will be using get method. Uh, we have to also require also put square brackets here. Yeah. So this will be our get method. Yeah, power line. Hmm. So for the uh, for this particular get method, we need to do one more thing. App dot route. Slash API slash items. Slash 
int int and angular brackets int colon and then item id then then again get method Now what this will do is def uh, get items item id column. What this will do is this will uh, get all the items present in our database or you can see our data set so item equal to next bracket start one more bracket item for item in data if item id square brackets in strings id id number equal to item id underscore id else name Let's make it cleaner. So then what we will do is if item. That means if there is some data in variable named as item, then return is only five. This only for item. Over two hundred. And then return. This only for. This will return the user message. This only for. message will be item not found the error code will be four of four I think there is some syntax error. Let me check. Yes. We have to put in these curly brackets. Hope it's fine now. Now run our app. For that, we need to just type app.run. Debug equal true. Oh, uh, firstly, we need to create one more thing that is a post request. That have dot out. And uh, the route will be using for post request is where slash API slash items. Then method will be post. Uh, 
we have to create new item so our function will be created underscore item brackets close this new item equal to item name will be here let's let's do one thing request dot json request dot this will uh, request json git from our html code and then new item id equal to we are setting a particular id for this just like this new item id equal to learn of data plus one that's one Okay, good. Then what we have to do is just data dot append. Data dot append new item. We are all done. Return. What we have to return is a JSON string. JSON by new item. Number two zero one. This will have code. Just a second. Okay, we have to write uh, methods here. We have type method. Let's see. Just a second. Now it's running. Click on this particular link. So this was our data, which we have uh, already appended in our, in this particular, we can see data set. Now what we have to do is, let's check our post request. Name of the item will be item three, with the price $25. It add item, you can see a new item as uh, our new item is appended here. But these functions will not work now because we have not created any routes for this. Let's see what actually is uh, happening here. Whenever will, whenever someone will click on this button, that is add item, uh, add item button. This function will be given. And what this function will do is, this function will uh, create create a constant name, name this name and then price and this will create a post request at this particular route of our application and what this route will do is this route will uh, collect that particular user data create an id for that particular item and then append this data into our data set and then what, uh, what is there is our JSON data is returned here. Here you can see. So guys, that's all for this part. Now we will see uh, delete and the last request that is put request in our next part. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Let's see you next time.